Hello Makeup Void, I am the Makeup Schizophrenic and welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Glasses Me again. Well, yeah, it's again because you'll see the other video already. But knowing the after work, need to film this YouTube video, I already can tell it's going to be a rambly one because I've had to redo this intro at least five times. Yet today's video is the update to my eyeshadow project pan. I did start this project back in January. I have all of the updates in one giant playlist that will be linked down below or you can just click on my face to go directly to my channel. I really do need to separate the playlist of all of the individual project pans because that playlist right now has just everything. So if you want just a clusterfuck of playlists to watch or project pan videos that don't really have an order somehow then go click there. But stay on to this video because for this eyeshadow project pan update I have not made a single change to my rules. If you have been following along the past few months, I've been making changes like every month because I'm just not happy. I need to change something and you know what? That's not happening this month. So before we get into this update, I do want to say that yes, I am the makeup schizophrenic. I have schizoaffective disorder and it is my goal on the internet to reduce the stigma against schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorder by talking kind of relatively about normal things. Having an obscene amount of makeup is normal, right? It is? Please, please tell me that it is. It's also really hot in here and I need airflow, like seriously, but let's get going. I know that was stupid transition. I still want to do it anyways. This is totally more for TikTok. I don't care. I don't film TikToks. Hate me in the description box or hate me in the description box. Hate me in the comment section down below. I am so hyper right now. I don't care, but this video is going to be fun. So as always, with my eyeshadows projects, these project pan updates I will be showing on either side of me looks that I've created with those eyeshadows. I try to spotlight them when I'm talking about the shadow but a lot of times I use multiple project pan eyeshadows in the same look so some looks I won't be able to do that with but I'll do my best. I have again my busy AF beaver notepad. I use this every single month or one of them where I just write down all of the palettes that I've used this month and I just keep tracks of them. So number one regarding my Project Pan eyeshadows I have from the Wahala 2. This shadow I actually brought in last month so it's probably why I wrote it down first because it's first in my mind. But from this palette I, if you're new to my project I should also say that generally my the palettes are randomized but then once I draw them I get to choose the individual shadow within the project now there I have I made some new rules that made it a little bit more interesting in May's update I'll have that video specifically linked down below but anyways I drew in the Wahala 2 palette again and I decided for this go around to choose the shade fake which looks purple to you but when you shift it it has like a green to brown duochrome I don't know how well you're seeing it and I use this shadow since that update, since bringing this into this project three times. I just, I wanted to bring the shade fake into this project because it's different, it's cool. It Would it be a multi-chrome? I don't know, but it's at least a duochrome. It's so cool. But I just, I've been, also look at my finger. Finger's even cooler, super cool. But I just been realizing I'm not in the mood for my dark grungy looks. Yeah, I did them a couple times this month, but that's kind of why I really wanted to bring fake in was to kind of give me, push me more into that kind of grunge. And I, and I did it and I liked it. I just didn't do it as much as I thought I would in the first month. So not much progress to be shown. It is a very cream to, it's very cream to powder. It has a nice creamy form of, um, texture to it. So I feel like it's gonna look like there's more progress on it than I actually did to it just by the nature of the shadow. But you, you can use this with a brush. I've had some successes with the brush but I'd much rather just swipe it on with my finger. So really cool though. Second on my list is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Meant to Be palette. I've been working on the, sh the lightest mint shade and these don't have shade names so I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch it. This is definitely the shadow of this project that I've used the most this month and I really like this shadow. I have to put my glasses on because my makeup looks bad, but it's kind of uh, a little star of my eyeshadow today. I was trying to avoid filming this video. Here. I was trying to avoid filming this video for a little bit just because I wanted to try to get like a, a couple more uses out before I had to film this video. And no, I have to film this video now. So 
here's the swatch of it it's really pretty but it doesn't go with fake at all these are two completely these do not go together whatsoever so i've used this shadow 11 times this month and i know i've used it a lot there is still I feel like I have to be getting really close to hitting pan because when I use this shadow, I use a lot of it. I use it a lot as an inner corner highlight. Just adds a little, it adds a little bit something besides like an ivory or gold or a pink inner corner. Just having a nice mint. I like it for that. This elf bite size quad and the one I'm about to talk to you about are the only two left in my collection. And I was half saying I half got distracted, but a lot of times in this project, I will try to pull up. I can do it. Never mind. I'm capable of doing it. I have it right on my phone and my phone's right in front of me. So according to my sheets, I have used this. I'm hoping that I've used at least this single. It will probably depend because what I'm doing for my eyeshadow palette tracker uses thing, I only count the times I've used the actual palette. So in terms of tracking for the year, it makes it really easy. In terms of project panning, not so much because here I'm pretty much going off of, a, I have to go off on the fact that I've probably only used the palette in the month for this, for the project pan eyeshadow. So I'm gonna have to kind of, my numbers aren't gonna be that precise, but I'd like to believe that I have used this shadow, so it was 11 times this month, 10 times the previous month, and May was when I rolled it in, 25 uses in this palette so far. Or probably with the shadow. I know when I used the shadow the in January, I know for sure I reached into that mint shade, so for this specific, particular palette, 25 times. I did also implement the rule last month where I would roll a shadow out at 30 uses if I think there's kind of like no hope inside of hitting pan. So I'm actually going to mark that down here. I don't have a pen over at my vanity. They're over there. 25 times. 25 times. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. I think even if I hit the 30 times this in July, which I definitely will, and if I don't hit pan by then, then I'll probably keep it in because I swear, I okay, with I know for sure because I've panned other e.l.f. cosmetics, e.l.f. bite size singles before, or shadows before that I know I'm very, very close to this. Next one is the Hot Halip. Did I count? No. I did not just drop my makeup sponge on the floor. I totally did. Okay, so I actually have used this shadow 20, 12 times this month and 26 times total because I did not mark the shadow palettes that I used for today on my face, which I only used two. The next shadow is the Jalapeno. Well, it's from the Hot Jalapeno Elf, Elf Bite Size Quad and I'm choosing the more shimmer olive green. This I've used uh 11 times this month so i know i'm not gonna i'm probably not gonna use it again so go to that one so i've used the hot jalapeno palette 11 times this month and over the course of the year i've used it have i not i only touched it since i brought it into this project so 11 that will put me at 26 uses again that just Okay, I obviously don't plan this. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hit pan on this shadow, honestly. I I don't know, it just feels, I think because the mint shadow is just so chunky, I just don't know if it's gonna happen for the jalapeno. Actually, I also use this shadow on my eyes. It's kind of like worn away at this point, but I did put it on the lower lash line. So for that, I didn't think I only, I forgot. So actually I've used this 12 times this month and I've used it 27 times since the beginning of this project and for the year. So I genuinely don't think I'll hit pan on it in July and I know for sure I'll hit my 30 uses. So expect that to be rolled out next month. And genuinely like with that, I just am not really having fun with it. I like the shade of green and I've been using it a lot, like I said, in the past month where I just really like it on like the lower lash line for that pop. But, and on the lid, I'm just kind of like, meh, meh. But I did do a look with this in the Honest Beauty Palace to, I actually did a neutral eye look this weekend. Who even am I? And I did really like how that turned out. It was very simple, nice, safe. So I really liked it in that look. So maybe I'll have to do that. Maybe, yeah, maybe I just with this, I have to go more on the neutrals 
spectrum or neutral side of life because when I try to do colors, colorful looks with it, I just don't like it. Okay, pistachio. You guys should be proud of me. I hit pan. Only one shadow this month. <laughs> and I hit pan in the BH Cosmetics Pistachio Palette and in Cone or Cup. This is a nice, perfect little dip because I brought this green in to deepen up the outer corner and that's exactly what I've been doing it for. And I used it nine times this month before hitting pan. I don't think I used it once after hitting pan, honestly. Now I probably used this shadow around 30 times to hit pan because for the month of, I didn't decide to start tracking my palette, how many times I use a palette for the year till like the end of January. So I had to guess and I know like for sure, I use this 28 times. Like I know for sure. And January's kind of the curveball because I wrote three for the palette, but I know in one of the looks was a bingo where I did not have corner cup. So that probably made me put me around 30 to hit pan. Okay, that's good to know, I guess. I haven't ever I haven't ever hit pan in a BH Cosmetics palette before. So about 30 uses to hit pan. If you really focus, if you really focus it in. Uh, using it for a deepening purpose. I also use it as a liner several times. That would be really cool to have like, it's not like super black, just, you know, have a black effect. Anyways, I, I really like this palette. And yeah, I'm ready to recycle it because it's been in my this project for several months, but I did it. And so the last pro palette was, and this is the palette or the, did I bring in two last month? Yeah, I brought in the Mahala 2 and then the last palette that, or last, palette I did bring in was from was the Rustic Glam and I chose the shade Evil Eye. There's that looker right there and I used this shadow not is it nine times again? No it's 11. I used it 11 times. Apparently 10 times is like the cutoff for me where I either do just almost 10 or just over 10. But Evil Eye, there is a lot of wear for only using it nine times. And I can tell you I've only used this palette nine times the entire year because I did not touch it once until bringing this in. It was actually a palette on the, yeah, I, I did not use it at all before this, before June. This was actually a palette that was going to be decluttered or was on the chopping block. So I liked that I, was, I had to draw it, roll it into this project because it, it, it reminded me how good the mattes are. The mattes in here are really freaking good. The shimmers are, some of them are good, some of them are please stop, but overall, I'm really glad I brought this into this palette. Is this the best palette ever? Well, the mattes are, the mattes are pretty great. And I will say about this palette, the shadows are powdery, really, really loose and powdery, which makes it really easy for project panning, but not in terms of like, if you only have that one palette and just want to beat it to death and move on to something else. But otherwise, I had a lot of fun with that blue. It was very bright, beautiful. It was kind of the freshness that I was really looking for towards my spring, or not my spring, but like my summer cravings for makeup because I still, I st oh, I didn't swatch it. I still like my crunch and stuff, but like I mentioned with uh, the first shadow, I just really haven't been into the deeper colors. And I mean, that blue. So this is where we are going to be at. In terms of changes, I did declutter the last two of my bite size palettes that I did have. I think the last two I had in terms of runnings that I hadn't already decluttered were like the Carnival and the Sultry BH palette, not the BH, but the Elf palette because I was like, it's good for my brows. Well, I hit pan and a for my brows and I was just like, nope, I'm done. I don't want to have this anymore pretty much. And those, these bite size palettes, they are so fragile, so incredibly fragile. Like that's kind of half of why I want to declutter so many of them because I was just not into it at all. All right, let's talk numbers. So I did declutter two of the bite size palettes this, um, this previous month and I did bring in two new palettes. One is on its way to me, but the two palettes I brought in was the Blueberry Muffin palette. I think it just went up on my channel today, but that video had been done for like over a week. But it's finally over my channel. I brought this into my collection this month. I've really been liking this palette. It's been, this has been, damn, damn. I've, I've been, it's been hard to put that palette down to try something else. This, <laughs> since I got it. But then I also built my custom Lethal Cosmetics palette. And then Teresa's dad did a collab with them. And I haven't even touched this palette yet. Because I'm too afraid to swatch it. 
but I'm going to. So I have these two things. So from this, I got 12 new shadows. And then this was like, what is it, 16 shadows. So I declared two, added two. So if you are new to the way I do this project, I just have all of my palettes plus like some clusters of single shadows. And I put them all just like in a basic Word document and I just use pretty random to randomize the palette that I will choose and then pick the shadow that I will choose from there. I do, in terms of like clusters and singles, I have like my super shock shadows, just my color pop singles in general. I have my Terra Moon shadows, JD Glow, and then some other things I threw in last month specifically was a veto, in which case I can veto any single eyeshadow from my, from my project. If I just screw it, I'm done with one of these. If I get veto, I can get rid of it and choose something else. I have, actually, um, I kind of scattered these out for once they're not in alphabetical order. I did a true eyeshadow randomizer, so the way the majority of people that do these projects, where they will have like whatever many eyeshadows and they pull directly from there. So I have that in here. And then I have dealer's choice where I can choose exactly, exactly what I want to use. And I lastly implemented the 30 uses goal last month. So, okay. 49 things to choose from so you know pretty random always goes to 49 whenever you enter things i don't know why let's see what this gives me 47 this is violet voss i'm pretty sure this is violet voss so you just saw that was 47 but here's the thing i forgot to take out another palette because 47 is the oma beauty car black Carnival Black Magic palette. It's actually sitting back there, but I'm try but it's decluttered. I need to find a new home for it. It's 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 it needs it's de it's decluttered in my heart. That is really stupid to say, but yeah, I'm I'm not including it as part of my collection anymore. So I did forget to take that out. But so now we have 48. So that's how prepared I was for this video, that I just completely forgot to take out a palette that I decluttered, so I decluttered three this month. Okay, 48, let's try this again. 39, okay. Let's try this again. 39 is the Odin's I Norn palette. Okay, okay, let me get this. Now, funny thing about the this palette, is that I almost brought it into my July makeup basket because I was like, ooh, I should bring it in because it's so pretty, but then I was also like, it's not like, it hasn't really been a true favorite for me this year, so. But, <laughs> I feel like I need to go for a matte because looking at my color story, it's just, that's why I really give like to give myself the opportunity to choose the individual shadows because I can really take a look and think of like, okay, what are some gaps in here that I could use to fill out this look? And oh my gosh, Outsider, that teal blue. I'm going to go for mist. Mist is right here. Because here's one big thing is that I want, I, I love panning shimmers. But I love panning mattes more. I just get more satisfaction panning a matte. And Mist is just a beautiful, doesn't really go well. I have so many swatches on my fingers. <gasps> and I'm not really caring. Oh yes, this is exactly what. It's a mommy lavender. Look at Mist. Also, I keep thinking Mist of Pandaria, which is a... World of Warcraft expansion and the next patch update comes out tomorrow and I have no time to play it because I have YouTube to do and that's my love. It's beautiful. I think it's purple. Pur purple. I wanted to say purple and perfect at the same time. So it's perfect. Pur pur I don't know. But yeah, here's my new color story. Also, my new Samsung Galaxy watch, which I should have taken off for this video, but too late now. I'm happy. I'm really happy I got the Play With The Norns palette and I think the reason why I settled on the matte is because a problem I've had in this project pan is that I tell myself I can only use, like my brain is so hyper focused on the project pan shadow in the palette that I don't really think of the other shadows in the palette. So it's like, yeah, I've used this palette like nine times, but this is like 
a 30 pan eyeshadow palette and I've only used like that one shadow in the vast majority of uses. So that's, yeah. It's kind of like the really bad thing, at least for me in project panning, is that I just get so like hyper focused on those shadows. And my, if I use like a variety of colors from other palettes, it's like products, palettes I'm testing out, palettes I just want to have fun with. And I don't really give myself the freedom of those project pan eyeshadows. So I think I'm going to set a goal for myself, and this is going to be pretty convoluted, but it makes sense in my head. So, as always, I'm going to keep track keeping track of the amount of uses that I've used to see the eyeshadows, but I'm also going to keep a separate tally of the times that I've used the other shadows in the palette to really encourage myself to really kind of give, like, push myself to use more than just the one shadow in this palette, because this is a 16 eyeshadow. This is, this is 16 eyeshadows, and if I'm, like, I don't want to just focus on mist, because I've, I've, sh swatched like obsessed and optimism and amber place and passion even though it's a pain in the ass to get product out and I just all of these beautiful shades over down here why should I limit myself to just using mist in this project pan in this palette so I'm gonna have my count I'm gonna have my my times of using the palette and then I'm going to set myself the separate goal of using the palette like using more than just a project pan eyeshadow five times on the ca the caveat is though if I hit pan on the eyeshadow like once I hit pan I something is going to happen with something's going to happen with the elf meant to be palette something's gonna happen it's child's either gonna break I'm either gonna hit pan or I'm gonna rage quit <laughs> it could be rage quit either way I know for sure there's gonna be some I, this is not gonna be in next month's like it's not gonna stick around much longer so think of it as my deck of panning what I did with the little ray of sunshine palette from Colourpop is that I used that palette 30 times but it only counted if I used two of the eyeshadows and that would make it like one use that's gonna be my goal this month so thank you guys so much for watching today's video I know it was long well it was ranty what, ex stop expecting short videos from me. If you expect short videos, what are you even doing on my channel? I don't know. But if you would do me a favor and give this video a like and subscribe to my channel, I do upload three days a week, Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 6 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. It's probably gonna, t this is probably gonna turn it into more of three to four videos a week. I feel like I'm going down that path. So maybe expect, expect a little bit more from me coming in this month. It is July. It is my birthday month. I'm going to go full narcissist. The sun, the world revolves around me. Even though I know it's, even though I know it's not, let me live the fantasy, okay? Just let me have this month, okay? <laughs> I don't know. Have joy, guys.